crash, leaving a nine-year-old girl horribly injured. Police say the driver, her dad, was under the influence. Tonight, the girl's mom says the system should be harder on her ex, and she's now lobbying lawmakers to make changes. New specialist Andrew Adams is live with the story. Andrew, she's doing that because he's still driving. Well, that's true, Dini. The mom tells us, though, the ex has been required to wear a monitor that tracks his blood alcohol level. He's still being allowed to drive, and he's still being allowed supervised visits, and that worries her. Nearly two months after it happened, it stands as a painful reminder. I want people to remember this. And it needs to be seen every time he drives down this road. Carlene Lindbergh says the tree and the purple ribbon around it marks that awful day her ex crashed here, leaving their daughter severely injured. He hit right here, and then the car spun that way. Most of the impact was on the passenger side where my daughter was. Lily suffered a traumatic brain injury only last week. After seven weeks in the hospital, was she able to come home? And she had to relearn everything. Investigators say the dad's blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit, and he was on Xanax. It is not an accident. It is a tragedy. It is negligence. And that's why mom is now outraged. The fact that he's still out driving around, the fact that he gets supervised visits with her now is extremely disturbing. Lindbergh is now pushing for changes to the laws that currently allow for those visits and privileges while cases are tried in the courts. We're really reluctant in our country and especially our, our state to uh, take someone's child away from them, no matter what they've done. Legal analysts say it'll likely be a difficult road forward to change Utah law. We can also watch individuals when they're charged with a DUI, uh, monitor them closely, uh, monitor their alcohol and substance abuse through drug testing. Where's the justice? Where's, where's the compassion? Where's, what about her? You know, what about Lily? Lindbergh says she at least has the ear of lawmakers who are interested in seeing what's possible. Do my kids need their father? Absolutely. But they need a healthy father. She doesn't want to see what happened here happen to someone else. He should not have a right to those children while he's sick. Well, the father, Jacob Verga, faces his next court appearance on May 27th. He's facing nine charges, including felony DUI and child abuse. Meanwhile, the mom is in the process of scheduling meetings with lawmakers in the coming weeks. Back to you. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Andrew Adams live for us tonight. Andrew, thank you. We do have an update on a